In the sacred pages of the Bible, we believers are continuously reminded of the importance of complete devotion to God. A devotion that encompasses the heart, mind, soul, body, and spirit. This commitment is not just a passive acknowledgement, but an active demonstration of respect, admiration, and unwavering faith. The Lord, in His infinite wisdom and grace, is described as almighty, steadfast in His faithfulness, overflowing with mercy, and deserving of our utmost reverence. This isn't just about saying words, but really showing how much we respect and trust Him. God is powerful, kind, and always there for us, and He deserves our full attention. One of the most striking illustrations of this power of devotion can be found in the book of Exodus chapter 17, verses 9 to 13. Here the Israelites, under the leadership of Joshua, are locked in a fierce battle against the Amalekites. Meanwhile, on a nearby hill, Moses, accompanied by Aaron and Hur, holds up his staff. The fate of this battle intriguingly hinges on Moses' hands. As long as they're raised, the Israelites prevail, but once lowered, the Amalekites gain ground this isn't merely a story of a physical battle, but a profound lesson on the significance of keeping our focus on God, staying submitted, and understanding the weight of our actions and intentions in the spiritual realm. Instead of focusing on the problems in front of you, if you simply lift up your hands and focus on Jesus Christ, that's how you will overcome. That's how you will gain the victory. Jesus Christ is far greater than the enemy who is in front of you. So why focus on the enemy? The enemy is insignificant if the Lord is by your side. The enemy is insignificant if your focus is on the Lord. That's exactly what Moses did. He could have picked up a sword and joined his fellow brothers in battle but he instead lifted his hands to worship the Lord despite the battle in front of him. I encourage you to do the same. I urge you to praise and worship God despite the enemy that you face today. Despite the problems that you face today, keep your hands lifted. Let's bow our heads in prayer. Lord Jesus, I lift up my hands as a sign of surrender. Have your way, and may your will be done. I lift up my hands to signal that I am letting go of trying to control things. I lift up my hands to signal that I am relying on your amazing grace and on your love. I accept that your will is better than mine. Your ways are higher than mine. Your timing is better than mine. Father, instead of fighting the battle in front of me, I will focus on you, the one who holds all power. Rather than relying on my own might, I will rely on your strength. Lord Jesus, I will place my faith in you. I pray that my hands would always be lifted in worship to you. And regardless of whether I am in chains, like Paul and Silas, may you be praised, Lord. Whether or not disaster strikes, may you be praised, Lord Jesus. If I am tired and weary, I pray that you would give me strength through the Holy Spirit to praise and to worship you. Even if the enemy attacks, may I be protected by the fact that my hands will constantly be lifted up in worship to you, Lord. Father, let my first instinct be to hand over every situation shown to you. I pray that my first instinct would be to drop my carnal weapons and instead worship you in spirit and in truth. I choose to trust in an ever-faithful God, and I acknowledge that even when things don't go my way, you are still sovereign, and you are still a good God. 
I pray that you may see my lifted hands as a sign of a heart that is filled with gratitude and thanksgiving. I pray that you would see my hands lifted as an invitation for you to come into my circumstances and have your way. I invite your presence, Lord, to come and dwell within me. May you come in and do as you please in any given circumstance. I choose to let go and let you handle things. Father, I recognize the many times I have fallen short. The moments I have acted without love or thought and the instances where my faith wavered. I confess my sins, both known and unknown, and ask for your mercy. Allow me, Lord, to feel the comforting embrace of your forgiveness, even when I feel most undeserving. In your divine compassion, Lord, please guide me away from paths of temptation and grant me the strength to overcome the challenges that test my spirit. I earnestly seek your divine mercy, hoping to be cleansed and renewed in your love. Restore my heart, O God, and draw me closer to your perfect presence, that I might find peace and redemption in your boundless mercy and grace. Father Lord, your word says in the book of Exodus, chapter 33, verse 19, I will cause all my goodness to pass in front of you, and I will proclaim my name, the Lord, in your presence. I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy, and I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion. Today, Lord, Count me among those deserving of your mercy. O oh Lord, you are the only one who can help me. It is within your power to show me mercy. Take me to dimensions never seen. Take me to realms never known. Job said there is a path which no fowl knoweth, and which the vulture's eye hath not seen. The lion's whelps have not trodden it, nor the fierce lion passed by it. Take us to those version dimension in the Spirit of Lord. Father, your word in Psalm chapter 29 says, Ascribe to the Lord, O heavenly beings, ascribe to the Lord glory and strength. Ascribe to the Lord the glory due his name. Worship the Lord in the splendor of holiness. Your word declares that the voice of the Lord is powerful. The voice of the Lord is full of majesty. You, Lord Jesus, sit enthroned as king forever. I pray that the Holy Spirit would help me never to take my eyes off you, Father. Don't allow me to waver in fear even for a second. In the face of adversity, I pray that you would strengthen me to keep my hands lifted high and to always be found in worship. Father, you deserve all the praise and honor. You deserve all adoration. Even the angels in heaven always sing and worship you saying, Holy is the Lord God Almighty who was and is and is and is to come. Worthy are you, our Lord and God, to receive glory and honor and power, for you created all things, and by your will they existed and were created. I praise you, I honor you, I lift your name on high and say, you are worthy to be praised. Lord, each day, I see how much you love and bless me. Day or night, let me always thank you for all the good things you do for me. Help me to stay strong when things get tough and to always remember how great you are. Even when I face hard times, I know you are there helping me. With every breath, let me show how thankful I am to have you. In the matchless name of Jesus. Amen.